Good morning, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, we talk to a man on the street while a man further back on the street flips you off. I'm standing here surrounded by snowdrifts, stalled cars, and the one douchebag who wears a tank top every time there's a blizzard. Yeah, this is nothing. Guy at work drank a quart of motor oil once and didn't even die from it. Put that on the news, but you won't. Well, I'm all done shoveling your walk, Mr. Herbert. Thanks, Chris, but there's some in here, too. Hey, check it out, lemon snow. What? Yeah, that stuff's delicious. Lemon snow? You mean it just falls from the sky like that? You bet. One of nature's treats. <laughs> ah, that's not lemon. No, it's not. You bastard. I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad. Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Even the hard-to-eat white part at the bottom? That's what the people want. Now, what else? What about this tomato? Cut it into thirds. It should be big enough to pretend you've got red teeth. How about this carrot? Should I cut it up? Yes, but very thin lengthwise. The whole length of the carrot. One thin slice. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we got these hot peppers, but you can't really eat them. No problem. Dump them all in. Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Hello, every pizza place. Hey, guys, check it out. I peed my name in the snow. Jeez, Joe. That's normal. Well, looks like the whole neighborhood's out here. Yeah, just hope that weird albino up the street doesn't show up. That guy creeps me out. Hello, Peter. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, Bill. Uh, what are you doing out here in all this snow? Just taking my rabbit to the vet. All right, Stewie, you all set to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa? Ugh, I hate being around old people. They've always got weird stuff in their refrigerator. Ah, oh, sorry, thought I had more time. Hi, Daddy. Stewie's all ready. You boys have fun. There's my little guy. Well, Grandpa's here. Oh, God, it's the song again. Yes, Grandpa's here. Doesn't even rhyme at all. He's going to buy you a soda and drive you around. Let's go. Whoa, what's your driving? Is he... is he sleeping? Hey! Hey, wake up! Wake up! You, lady, wake him up! You like the Tom and Jerry, do you, dear? Well, we'll dial them up when we get home. What the hell are you talking about? We're about to... <laughs> Goodness, dear, I'm so sorry. No worries. Now I can work at Hot Topic and make people sick as I ring up their purchases. Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm death. Sorry, dude. Super death. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a death dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. I'm not in high school anymore. Maybe this is all a dream. Wait a minute. I moved out of the desert years ago. Maybe this is a dream. Ah! Whew. I am ready to be a parent, Mr. Burke. Hey, how's the old guy doing? Mr. Pewterschmidt, I'm afraid I have some bad news. I'm going to have to revoke your driver's license. What? It's obvious your advanced age has impaired your ability to drive safely. Please, Joe, I, I know he had an accident, but can't you look the other way this one time as a friend? Yeah, you know, Joe, you owed his family. I didn't tell anyone about your Fiona Apple tribute video. When a girl will break a boy just because she can, I'm broken. Joe, open the garage. I've earned this private time. Listen, I don't have time for this. I'm late for a hostile takeover of a jelly factory. Carter, you work too much as it is. You're not a young man anymore. You need to slow down. Slow down? I can't slow down. I'm running a $6 billion company. If I slow down, the company goes under. It just seems to me that perhaps it's time to think about retirement. Never. Retirement's for old people. I can work till I die. Maybe even after that. But, dear, we are old. We can't keep pretending that nothing's changed. I mean, we almost injured our grandchild today. Besides, you're always complaining that you don't have enough time to play polo or sit in a chair and moisten your mouth. That is true. It does sometimes take me a while to moisten my mouth. You see, dear, and that's only the beginning. Retirement will be a wonderful adventure, and we'll do it together. You're going to retire? From what? There. Isn't it fun already? <sighs> okay. Look, you guys are hemorrhaging money. This Hall of Justice is sitting on five acres of commercial real estate. How do you afford this? We're the super friends. Yeah, but you guys have no income. You owe $4 million in back property taxes. Hey, hey, 
what's up, Gina's? G- Gina- Gina's? Vaginas? What's up, vaginas? Aha, I gotcha. Mr. Punishment, what are you doing here? I'm retired now. Got a lot of free time. So, what do you guys do here? Well, we usually just sit here and complain about our lives. Like this morning, Lois was such a pain in the ass. Hey, that's my daughter you're talking about. This, um, red-headed lady who lives in my bed was a real pain in the ass this morning. That's hot. I'm going to think about that tonight. Uh, we do all kinds of crazy stuff. Sometimes we even have phone sex. Don't you mean phone sex? No, Joe. Phone sex. Are you ready? <laughs> you better believe it. Now your turn. And do it how I like. <laughs> okay. Good news, guys. Now that Grandpa's retired, he's going to have more time to spend with us. Oh. oh. We don't want to do that, Mom. Yeah, all he ever does is ask you what you want to do so he can shoot it down and tell you what he wants to do. Hey, hey, hey there's my family. So what do you guys want to do today? Well, there's always the beach. No, you got to sit on the ground to eat. I need a cushioned chair with back support, like a Chili's. Okay, well, how about Chili's? Maybe, maybe. Let's get in the car and see where it takes us. Well, what do you want? I hear you're kind of a cool guy. Thought maybe we could hang out. Uh, okay? Okay, Carter and Quandary, hanging out. All right, I just got to go take a misty stop-and-go piss in your bathroom, then we'll be good to go. Lois, how the hell much longer is your dad going to be hanging around here? He's starting to drive me crazy. Hey. Hey. What, 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 what is it? I can't sleep. I'm scared of ghosts. God, there's no such thing as ghosts. Are you sure? Well, now I'm not. Come on, get in here. It's safe under here, right? I think so, but I'm not sure. I just recently started believing in ghosts. Well, we were just thinking, now that Daddy's retired, that you and he might be happier in a place where you can be with people your own age. You know, make some new friends. What are you talking about? Well, he actually brought you a few brochures of some lovely retirement communities in Florida. And I helped. Florida? Mmm, this one's even got the word sunset four times in the name of it. Wait a minute, why would I want to live in Florida? Black people's votes go right in the garbage. All right, we're moving to Florida. Oh, Carter, this is wonderful. Oh, look at that smile, Lois. Reminds me of that guy who was way too happy he didn't get killed on 9-11. Uh, I'm ten minutes late for work! Look at that! I stayed up late watching Monday Night Football and that saved my life, huh? Isn't that awesome? Uh, oh, but, oh... Hi there, welcome. I'm Ryan, the manager here at Oceanside, and I'll be showing you around today. Over there is our statue of Angela Lansbury. Protect us, O Lansbury, from rude teenagers, from soup that is both too hot and too cold, and from anyone who calls, but please have people call. Hey, guys. Why is he blue now? Is it cold on that planet? Why are they mumbling? Why does everyone in pictures today mumble? I can't hear. Is that Signori Weaver? That's not how you say it. Well, she shouldn't be smoking. She's a handsome woman, and that'll ruin her fast. Is unobtainium very easy to obtain? Well, we'll just need you to fill out this paperwork and then we'll get you moved into your condo. Oh, isn't this wonderful, dear? No! No, it's not wonderful at all! There's no way in hell I'm gonna live here! This place is nothing but old people marching to their deaths! You hear me? I'm not one of you! And I never will be! Oh, this is dreadful. I thought Carter and I were going to be so happy here. I tell you what, Babs, let me have a talk with him. Hey there, buddy. Go away. You know what that man's name was? John Benet Ramsey. I, I, I think, I think that's the guy. What? You're darn right, what? Now let's get back in there. Peter, get lost. I'm not going to retire, and that's that. Come on, Carter, everybody's got to retire at some point. Like that drill sergeant with Alzheimer's. What's your name, soldier? Sir, McArdle, sir! Are you me? Probably some kind of joker. What's your name, soldier? Sir, McArdle, sir! Well, la de da I guess we got some kind of joker here. Look, Carter, I'll make a deal with you. You give me just one day to show you how great retired life can be for an old fella, and I'll let you honk the horn one time. So, how do you win this game? Just fill this out when they say the letter and the numbers? Yeah, that's a sucker's bet. There's only one way to win this game. Wait for someone else to win and steal his card. G27. Bingo! It's go time. <laughs>
What do we do, sneak up behind him? No, nope, he's got cataracts. Follow my lead. All right, Carter, now that you're retired, you're going to need a whole new wardrobe. And what better place to start than the slightly open robbery? Hey, Hobo Man, hey, Dapper Dan, you both got your style, but brother, you're never fully dressed without a smile. Yes, the penis one. Well, check it out. This room has its very own thermostat that you can fiddle with. Really? I can change the temperature in here? You're retired. You can do anything you want. Well, I am kind of warm. I'll try it out. Oh, that's perfect. Now I'm cold. Crank up the thermostat. Ah, wonderful. Hotter than blazes in here. But wait, I can turn the heat down. He's learning. Take care, dear. We'll see you soon. Yeah, have fun. Just remember not to go out into actual Florida. You don't want to meet those people. Uh, well, I'm also into football. Don't care. No time for FB. All about SO. Make no mistake. Florida is the South's trash can. Boy, these eggs are delicious. Good job, Lois. Good job, local hen. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, we'll be down there as soon as we can. Mom, what's wrong? We're going to Florida. Why? What happened? There's something horribly wrong with your grandpa. Oh, Lois. I'm so glad you made it. He's been like this for days. Oh, my God. <sighs> Cream of... What's happening? him i don't know dear he sleeps 18 hours a day he refuses to bathe and he's stopped making any sense oh that sounds like the sad little fat girl who lives in all of us and is struggling to get out did my parents call yet nobody's looking for you now stay in there sometimes she tries to get out the other way that's why i keep a cork in my bum well, we gotta do something don't worry you guys i think i might know how to fix this but first look i turned him into groucho Marx. That's hilarious. Peter, what is this supposed to accomplish? Don't you see, Lois? When we forced him to retire, we took all the challenge out of his life. <clears throat> We're also going to stop reading employee emails. <clears throat> Our servers. And from now on, it's against the rules to pat female employees on the fanny. <clears throat> I like touching butts. And tell the African-American elevator attendant he no longer has to wear white gloves. Why don't you just tell him he can sleep with my wife, too? Daddy! Oh, Carter, you're back. Hey, Mom. No, Mom, you're staying in the nursing home. I, I don't care. I, I, I don't care. M Mom, believe me, no one is touching you in your sleep. Because you're gross. And, and even if they are, so what? Who are you saving yourself for? I, I look, I, I gotta go. I, I don't know if we're coming to Thanksgiving. Because I don't know. She's staying in there. I know. 